Hello, good morning viewers. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to find the determinant of a matrix. I think determinant of a matrix is the most important topic in matrices because through determinant, you can be able to find the area of a triangle, find the inverse of a matrix, and even solve some system of linear equations. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. Press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new content. And don't forget to share to your learning colleagues. Before we start, I want to remind you that you can only find the determinant of a square matrix. A square matrix is a matrix that has the same number of rows and columns. So now let's get started. So first we have a matrix A that has these entries A, B, C, and D. You know elements of a matrix are enclosed under a bracket, this type of bracket. Okay, the terminal of a matrix is donated by that A, meaning the terminal of A, or you can write it in this form. This is not an absolute value. Don't confuse it with absolute value. It is just a notation for determinant. You can as well write it as delta A in delta notation. While the elements that are enclosed under a bracket can also be written in this form, you can write all the elements and write these uh, vertical bars. So for this one, if we are to find the determinant of this matrix, we can write it as that A is equal to, you see we have a vertical bar, A, B, C, D. So the question is, how can we find the determinant of this matrix? To find the determinant of this matrix, we take the difference of the product of these diagonals. You take A, you multiply it with D, you have AD, you subtract, you take C, you multiply with B, we have CB. You simplify and obtain your scalar, and that scalar is said to be the determinant of this matrix A. Now let us take some examples. Suppose we have a matrix A as one, negative two, three, and four. We want to find the determinant of this matrix. We can write it as that A equals, you use this vertical bar and write all the L entries, one, negative two, three, and four. Applying this formula, you take the first row, first column element, which is always at the top, you multiply it diagonally and take the difference of the other product. So this is equal to one multiplied by four. You subtract you take 3, you multiply by that negative 2. We simplify and obtain a single integer, which is a scalar, and that scalar represents the determinant of this matrix A. So 1 times 4 is 4, but minus 3 multiplied by minus 2 will give us positive number 6. And if you add together, you shall get 10 as a scalar. So therefore, the determinant of this matrix A is equal to 10. Let us take another example. So first we have a matrix B as minus three, four, two, negative two. We want to find the determinant of this matrix. You can write it as delta B which denotes the determinant of B. This is equal to minus three, two, four, minus two. Now you take the product of the diagonal elements, you take the differences, and this is equal to minus three multiplied by minus two. Always, I repeat, always start with the first row, first column element, at the top left, 
multiply it with the second row, second element together. Then you take difference. Then you come here, second row first column element, which is two. You multiply it with first row, second column element, which is four. You simplify and obtain your answer. This multiply by this will give us six minus two times four is eight. Now, if you subtract eight from six, you shall get a negative number two. So this negative two is the determinant of this matrix B. Let us take one more example. Suppose we have a matrix C with these entries, we have four, five, uh, three, six. We want to find the determinant of this matrix C. It is as the same thing as taking the difference of the product diagonally. So this is how to represent it before simplifying. This becomes 4 multiplied by 6. We have 4 multiplied by 6. You take the difference. 5 multiplied by 3. 5 multiplied by 3. 4 times 6 is 24 minus 5 times 3 is 15. 24 minus 15 is equal to 9. And 9 is said to be the determinant of matrix C. So this is exactly how to find the determinant of 2 by 2 matrix. In our next class, we shall look on to how to find the determinant of 3 by 3 matrix because the whole process is entirely different. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.